Zoe Tomlinson. Hello, how are you? It's so great to have you here. I'm really, really well. Welcome to Hits Live. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And I just want to say, your video with Richard is so powerful. He is honestly one of the most amazing men I've ever met. Probably the most amazing man. I was so in awe of him, you know, 80, 83, 84. And to have that outlook on life, it's just, uh, yeah, he was an amazing guy. Amazing guy. Really funny as well. Really Great funny. experience. And so what we've done is, obviously, you've got some of the best fans out there. So we've, we've, we've gotten together some questions from them, some of the best ones we're nice. going to ask you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that right now. Cool. Jessica says, has Richard inspired you to make a bucket list? If so, what's on it? Um, yeah, I think he inspired a lot of people to, to, to do that, really. Um, I've been saying, I mean, it's a, a, an obvious one. I've been saying for ages that I want to skydive. I'll get that out of the way at some point. Whoa. Um, you, would you skydive? No? Ooh. No? Well, I feel Surely. like I... No, do you know what? I feel like I should because it's the one thing that I feel like I don't want to do. So yeah. therefore, I feel like I should. Yeah, yeah. You should do it. You should do it. And there'll be other things as well, but I'm not really giving it a lot of thought. The skydiving's a good one. Mm. I'm going to have to put that on mine now just because I'm so scared of it. Mila says, did Richard give you any advice for life? Oh, just his outlook in general was like what I took from that whole experience. So, uh, you know, he recently, you know, uh, had lost his wife and but his his outlook was so positive and and you know, a lot of people are entitled to sit and and dwell and and you know, be sad about those kind of things, but he was the exact opposite. He was so upbeat, so fun and and literally up for anything, up for anything. That's massively inspiring. Um, Ali says, um, you said that you've decided that you want to make music that you love. Does that mean that you're scrapping your album for the end of 2019 and starting a fresh new one? God, I hope not. I'll take another <laughs> three years otherwise. Um, no, there's still, there's still uh, the majority of the album. Um, I think it was more speaking about uh, trying to find that specific single sound that, that you know, is uh, an obvious one that's going to work on radio. Mm. Uh, but the album tracks kind of, you know, they, they were always real and true to me anyway so um yeah so there will be no scrapping no the no, album. no um louis updates 13 says have you already thought of an album name yeah actually we've been speaking about this uh, recently i'm not gonna say what it is obviously um Ooh. but yeah I, th I think we've got a lot down i think so i don't I, those kind of things you know i mean i think you can spend forever trying to find the perfect name yeah i can imagine um so i think i'm, I'm pretty confident what we've got so you've got it now so you're not floating mm. a few you're kind of down to an actual yeah yeah Ooh. i think we'll just go with that yeah okay fair enough tiffany says if you could be any other celebrity for a day who would you be and why that's such a good one um it's funny <laughs> that you think that's a good question do you um, not like it <laughs> no joking that's why um, it's a good one because i want to see uh, what you let me say. think let yeah. me think um it should probably be a good answer to this I'll, I'll go close to home, Niall Oren. He doesn't worry about anything in the world. He has the, he's Can just... you do an Irish accent, though? I, I am not too bad. I'm not too bad. That's all right. You spend a lot of time with Niall. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad, <laughs> is it? It's all right. It's all right. That's what I can do, to be fair. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Diamond Chloe says, what's your favourite TV show? Um... I like Westworld. I've not seen. I've not seen the new series. Have you seen Westworld? Have you no. heard of Westworld? It's decent. It's decent. Is it? It's a bit. It's a bit weird, but yeah, it's it's good. Should and I obviously get on Black that? Mirror. You know all the obvious ones. You've seen Black Mirror, haven't I've you? I've seen Black Mirror. Yeah, so good. It's crazy. So Westworld. It? Westworld's on Netflix. I don't know if it is actually. No, I think it's like okay. one of them HBO ones. Hanny says, "What do you like to do in your free time?" And then she's put, "True answer, please." <laughs> <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time watching rubbish TV. Um, I recently t started playing six side football again, which has been oh, nice. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've played. Is that like, a bit of like a football-y type of thing? Kind of, yeah. Like I could be going there after this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> side. Uh, Coco says, if you were to get a tattoo dedicated to your fans, what would it be? I think she's hitting it in there. Um, I don't know. It's not a bad idea, though. Maybe the fans should like design me one or something. I'm, I'm well up for getting. You know, I've got some very awful tattoos. I'm willing to get out. So Show we'll me see. your worst we'll one. See. Uh, You see there. You've got a little hangman Can person. You see, I mean, the lines aren't even thick. It's bad. It's bad. So you've got a glow. I had some of these done in like hotel rooms, so you've got to imagine that, you know, it's not going to be the best. One standard. says bus. Bus one, yeah, that was uh, that was the tour bus that we went on, and uh, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, I could yeah. spend a long time exactly. They probably yeah, know. Like they probably know all of these. You know what I mean? It's a bit daft. Little stick man, love that. <laughs> um, and Laura says, "What is the thing that you miss most about being in one D?" Uh, probably the touring, you know, that's why I'm excited to perform today and uh, excited to get out on the road myself. We spent a lot of the time, I felt like, you know, 60, 70% of our time touring and being on the road. So uh, probably the touring at the moment. You don't miss all the smelly socks and like people getting in your face. I mean, <laughs> yeah, between me and now, we were probably up there with the smelliest anyway, so it's all right. <laughs> so, uh, 
And finally, Mita says, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? I, I'm, I'm actually quite romantic, you know. Are you? I am, I am. Uh, let me have a think now. Well, when I, first, when I first met my girlfriend, I am a horrific cook. A very, very bad cook. I give it a go, you know what I mean? I'll try. So I said to her, I'll make you a nice meal. I made her a meal, and honestly, she, she, you know what I mean? She did all the polite things and said it was lovely. I obviously tasted it too. It was awful. It was awful. Really What was poor. it? What was the attempt? It was like some chicken wrapped in like some parma ham, stuffed with a bit of mozzarella. Very ambitious That's for very the ambitious. level of cook I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, at least you tried, so that is romantic. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs>